the talk that I want to give, it's really about a journey of my own journey to understanding what my poetics was, that I had a poetics, and getting there and getting to what I call a blue sensibility. Did I? Through the culture I was exposed to growing up in the South, at the height of the civil rights movement in the 60s, in one of the hot spots, Nashville, Tennessee, through my parents exposing me to music, Nina Simone's songs, just her singing songs that inspired the civil rights workers, the Fist Jubilee singers, and through poetry. These works of art not only gave me as a child a way to escape the reality around me and a way for me also to heal myself. And so in that sense, art acted as an intervention. My talk will give you a sense of texts that really spoke to me. One text that I'd like to talk a little bit about is Emily Dickinson. I like a look of agony because I know it's true. Men do not sham convulsion nor simulate a throw. The eyes glaze once and that is death, impossible to feign. The beads upon the forehead by homely anguish strung. You wouldn't think to necessarily relate Emily Dickens to the blues. I think she expresses a sensibility of the inevitability of trouble. That's where the blues sensibility comes from. It is an understanding that everything is not a fairy tale, you know. And even fairy tales themselves teach you life is not what you expect. So it is simply one way of understanding and interpreting the world. To tell him she was good.